Hello, my name is Donette Douglas. I am the station manager here at WTJR, working till Jesus returns. That's our motto right here in Quincy, Illinois. Channel 16.1, 16.2, 16.3 and 16.4. Yes, that's exciting to know we have four channels and we'll be talking about that during the program later because we here at WTJR just this last Monday on June the 8th, we celebrated our 14th CTN anniversary. I'll tell you, I can't believe it's been 14 years already, but we are so thankful for God's hand upon this ministry. We're so thankful for all of those that pray for us, those who financially support WTJR. We're thankful for all of our volunteers. We have some that come and help fold and mail out the newsletters. We have some that help with camera and production work. And we have prayer warriors. We have people help answer the phone during the Pray 16 program. And of course, we have so many wonderful brothers and sisters in Christ who tape programs here at WTJR. Either they are our host or they are guests on programs. So it takes a lot of us. But most of all, it takes God. And we're so thankful for that. He has been ever faithful. In fact, in September, WTJR will be starting our 36th year in Christian broadcasting. So we have a lot to celebrate. Just think of all the souls, all the souls that have been won to the kingdom, all of our brothers and sisters in the Lord that have been encouraged in their walk with the Lord through these 35 years. Amen. So let's celebrate. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to start out today with our monthly church totals for the month of May. We do want to thank our area churches that support us monthly. We had eight churches giving a don total of $380 in donations. And those churches during the month of May were the Assembly of God Sunday School in Augusta, Illinois, Benville Union Church, Mount Sterling, Illinois, Faith Missions Outreach in Quincy, Illinois, First Assembly of God in Ewing, Missouri, Glory Worship Center in Clayton, Illinois, the House of Prayer in Kinderhook, Illinois, Loman Chapel in Shabina, Missouri, and in Shepherd's Gate Church in Macomb, Illinois. We thank you all so very, very much for being a part of broadcasting the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. And there is our information. Yes, you can go on our website, WTJR.org, and you can get a schedule if you'd like for 16.1. That's a, the national local programming here. It'll be on our website. You can go on our website and you can watch on YouTube channel. Yes, all of the local programming, the past programs. So you might want to write that down and check it out on WTJR.org. Prayer in the studio coming up on Monday. From Monday, uh, on Mondays, I should say, from 1 o'clock to 2 p.m., we have prayer here in the studio. It's located at 222 North 6th Street here in Quincy. We're located on the second floor. There is an elevator available. And we'd love to have you join us for prayer at 1 o'clock on Mondays. If you need prayer, just call the station here at 217-228-1616, or you can email pray16 at wtjr.org. If you happen to call and you get the answering machine, please leave your name, phone number, and if you would like prayer, and we'll get back to you. Pray 16 is our live call-in prayer show on Fridays from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. You can call in your prayer request and your praise reports. And the host of the program is Pastor Gary Wallace of River of Life Church here in Quincy. We repeat the program on Monday evenings at 9 p.m. And even though it's a repeat, we do have a phone operator. So be sure and join us, be a part, call in your prayer request, join with us and be a part of our prayer team right here at WTJR. You can also watch Pray 16 live on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. And we'd ask you to please share it or start a watch party. And that will send it out to your friends on your Facebook page. And you'll be help us to reach out to even more people with the Pray 16 program. The Great Awakening Soul Winning Script. That's what we use for the soul winning training here at WTJR. Uh, you can call in on the phone. We haven't started uh, up um, 
the classes, actually, uh, people coming to the studio. Uh, when it gets to, we can come together and we can go out on the street. We will do some of that. And that's on Mondays at 11 a.m. So from 11 to 12 on Monday, if you're interested in learning how to call people on the phone, uh, to pray with them, to tell them about Jesus, give your testimony, just give us a call here at the station. Download the CTN app. Uh, CTN has 21 affiliate stations, of which WTJR is one of them. If you go on the CTN app, you can put WTJR on your iPhone or your tablet. And you can also, if you have Roku or Apple TV, you can put that on your television. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be in our DMA area. don't have to live close to Quincy. So if you have family and friends that live out away from this area, they can watch on television through the Roku and the Apple TV app, WTJR, right here in Quincy, Illinois. Just want to let you know, we are no longer collecting the postage stamps anymore. Um, the um, church that was uh, sponsoring this, uh, no longer going to be doing that. So I do want to thank those of you who have saved stamps and sent them to us for many, many years. But we're not collecting stamps anymore. The movie coming up on the Saturday night movie is Caught. That will air on Saturday, June the 20th at 8 p.m. right here on WTJR. And we do, do have a trailer of that movie we want to show you. And I know many of you enjoy the movies on Saturday night. And uh, we're thankful uh, that we've been able to bring you some good, good movies. So let's watch a, a promo of this movie now, Caught. Oh. He is as real to me as any living person. And I can't shake off the feeling that they're watching me. So I gotta be sure to steal my soul. I can break you, no forsake you. There's no guarantee. For you. I don't know who I am. Grew up with a ghost for a father. Maybe he's alive somewhere. I will help you find him. <laughs> we can do it together. I ran out of leads. What am I supposed to do? Wait, I guess. I Again, this is a movie that will be on the Saturday night movie on Saturday, June the 20th at 8 p.m. right here on WTJR. Coming up this next week on A Woman's Joy. 
our dear friend and sister in Christ, Sherry McDaniel, will be here. As many of you know, Sherry comes uh, once a month and we tape two different programs. And Sherry and I have been discussing the biblical meaning of love for a long, long, long time. And we've kind of focused in on patience. And uh, you can watch uh, Sherry and I on A Woman's Joy this coming Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. and on Friday at 9 p.m. Coming up on Outreach Connection, uh, hosted by Timothy Southers, our guests will be Katie Henderson. And Katie is a director or the manager for the Pathway of Hope program at the Salvation Army. And you can watch this program on Monday, June 15th at 11 a.m., Wednesday, June 17th at 9 p.m., and Saturday, June 20th at 5 p.m. Coming up on Pastor Speaks this next week is Major Andrew Miller. And uh, I'm so glad Andrew got, or Andy as everybody calls him, got to come and tape a program. He and his wife will be retiring the end of June. And so he came and brought one last message for his friends and uh, are here in the Quincy area. And that will air on Sunday, June 14th at 2 p.m., Tuesday the 16th at 1.30 p.m., and Wednesday the 17th at 7.30 p.m. And this message is the three F's. So you have to watch Pastor Speaks this next week. Find out what the three F's are. Amen. The Simple Truth, hosted by John Furness. Bible teaching program and he has been teaching on the Feast of Israel and he centered in on the Day of Atonement this next week which will air on Monday the 15th at 7.30 p.m. and the following Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Hometown Happenings. There's our beautiful picture of the bridge crossing the Mississippi here at Quincy, going into Missouri. And again, I want to talk about Salvation Army, but I want to talk today about they are in need of fan donations, which means you can either buy a new box fan and take there uh, to the Salvation Army or give them a, a donation that they can purchase the fans themselves. But the fan distribution will start Monday, June 15th at the, um, at the Salvation Army here in Quincy on 501 Broadway and also in Hannibal, Missouri at the Steamboat Bend Shopping Center. For more information, you can call Heidi at 222-2087. And also, again, I want to remind you, the Salvation Army has a Pathway of Hope program. It's available for families with children under the age of 18 to help break the cycle of poverty. And for more information about that, you can call 217-231-5719. Check out our community calendar of events uh, right here on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. We try to keep it updated. If you've got some information for your church or your outreach ministry, if you would um, give us a call or put it in the mail or email us at TV16 at WTJR.org, we would love to help get the word out. We can put it on hometown happenings. Uh, we put it on TV on our community calendar and also on our Facebook page uh, on the community calendar of events. Amen. Okay, I do have a few letters. I got a card here that says you are in God's heart today and your life is in his hands. Thank, uh, WTJR, thank you for all you do from Quincy, Illinois. And uh, she had written a scripture in here, 1 Thessalonians 5, 11. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. Thank you so very, very much. And send a beautiful, a nice donation here to WTJR. Uh, God bless America and God bless all of you at WTJR from Fort Madison, Iowa. And then I got a little note here and they have a prayer request on it. If you have prayer requests, send it to us, okay? Uh, she's wanting us to pray for her grand and great grandchildren to be saved. God, God bless all on WTJR. This is from Hannibal, Missouri. And we take the prayer requests. We pray over them on Pray 16 on Fridays at 11 a.m. We put it on our prayer letter that we send out to 45 prayer intercessors here at WTJR. We 
also have our first Thursday prayer and we pray over these requests. And I'm going to take time right now because we all have children. We all have grandchildren. We, and I haven't gotten to the point that I have great grandchildren yet. But if I did, I'd want someone to pray for them too. So just join with me. God, we just lifted up our children our grandchildren and our great grandchildren to you. I pray that they will come into the knowledge of Jesus Christ, that they will have the opportunity to uh, attend a vacation Bible school or go to Sunday school or go to church with their family. And as they go, that they would hear about Jesus and how much he loves them and how he died on the cross for them. And they would have the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior too. Help us to be the witness and be the light to others, telling them about what Jesus has done in our life and how they can have salvation in Jesus Christ. In his precious name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Pray for your children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, because if you're not praying for them, who is? We pray someone is, but I tell you, I'll take all the prayers I can get. <laughs> I pray there are hundreds and thousands even of people that would pray for me every day. I appreciate those prayers. Amen. And then, praise God, we're going to celebrate. I got two more. Uh, the surveys back with the salvation prayer where people said yes to Jesus. So hallelujah. I think we've gotten eight back now in the mail. And that just excites me. The Bible says there's much rejoicing over one. Yes. And so we've got to really be rejoicing over these that said yes to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay. Today for our bridge. Uh, Jim went back in our archive of videos and found a video from 2015 that has some WTJR history in it. It's always exciting to go back. I love to see the people that were involved, part of the WTJR family, uh, maybe some of the things that were happening here at the station. And I know one of them will be about us becoming four channel, having four channels, and that's an exciting thing. And uh, we have even more news to be bringing you in the, in the weeks to come. Uh, as you notice, I'm sitting on a different set yet today. And when I, the program first came on, maybe you didn't think you were watching behind the scenes, but you are. And for the last few weeks, we've been uh, using different sets in the studio because we've got a project going on. And we're going to we're going to let you know all about it. But it takes a little bit of physical work first. <laughs> but anyway, we want to show you this. I pray you will enjoy this uh, about WTGR history from 2015. <music> My name is Donette Douglas. I am the general manager of WTJR, and I'm joined here by Gary Schlockever, right. host of Outreach Connection, a weekly program you can see right here on WTJR. Well, behind me, you can see a poster of our four WTJR channels, and Gary's going to tell you a little bit about them. Yes, Donette, WTJR has four channels, as you can see on the boards. 16.1 mm -hmm. is the local and national programming. 16.2, CTN Lifestyle Family Christian Programming. The 16.3 channel is the CTNI Spanish Christian Programming, and 16.4, the CTN HD programming. So exciting that yes. we are able to bring this to the viewers, not only in the tri-state area, but all over the world right. through the internet. Lifestyle, CTN Family Television. Programming the entire family can watch. News, health and nutrition, children's programs, worship concerts and movies. Safe for the entire family. Lifestyle, CTN Family Television. Helping guard the eyes and ears of your family. The Christian Television Network is all about proclaiming the gospel. All over the world. It's about connecting you with your local community. It's about family and everything that affects the home. 
CTN is about keeping you fit. In spirit, soul, and body. Say thank you for giving to WTJR. Okay. 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 One, two, three. Thank, thank you, you for giving to WTJR. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. That was probably good. Let me go check. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love to see those old footages of programs. Just blesses me. You know, ZTN has been a or WTJR has been a big part of my life since almost the beginning. And CTN has been a big part for the last 14 years. And I've been very honored uh, to be the station manager here. Very, very blessed. And uh, it was nice to see uh, Gary Schluckover. Gary Schluckover is... Uh, uh, of course, went home to be with the Lord a few years ago. He was a dear, dear friend here at WTJR. He helped me host and so many different um, share thons and pray thons. He hosted uh, Outreach Connection for several years and also a program called Pray for America. So uh, it was just good uh, to see him again. And uh, he was always an encourager. And we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody through the 14 years that have been there to encourage us. Amen? Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to get a little drink here. Today I'm going to continue on. We are praising God for the hope we have through Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ. CTN, WTJR, brings hope into people's lives because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm using the scripture from Luke 2, 49, reading from the New King James Version. And he said to them, why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? And of course, this was, uh, uh, he was around 12 years of age. He had went with Mary and Joseph to the temple. And um, I think for Passover or one of the feasts. And uh, Mary and Joseph had already started back home and, and journeying. And I think they were in a, like the second day, maybe. Um, they realized that Jesus was not there with them. So they returned and uh, found him in the temple. And he said, do you not know? Yes, that I must be about my father's business. I received this uh, email this last week from uh, Kingsway Fellowship. And it said, business is not as usual. Business is not as usual. And I wanted to share uh, this with you in the next few weeks. And uh, it's about evangelizing the lost. Uh, that's what we are to do. And that's what we do here at WTJR. And he said, wow, we haven't got through one crisis and find ourselves in the middle of another one. Co-ed 19 came on the world with a vengeance. Businesses, schools, and churches were shut down. Stay in order, place orders were implemented and uncertainty filled the land. People lost their livelihood. Some lost their lives. Others lost their peace and social distancing has become the norm. Now we are thrusted into social interest, unrest, social unrest and great turmoil across our nation from border to border. This crisis is so explosive because people have strong opinions and feel so passionate about the issues. I have found myself getting caught up in the events of today to the place that my focus is more on world events than the kingdom of God. Jesus admonishes us to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you in Matthew 6, 33. Turmoil, disease, and unrest have been happening since the day sin came into the world. It's nothing new. The fact hasn't changed. Thank God Jesus came to destroy sin and change its effect. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the sin, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. 
For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. 1 John 3, 18. I'm going to read that one more time. He that committeth sin is of the devil. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. 1 John 3, 8. Today, like any other time in history, the devil is again unleashing the demonic realm for the purpose of stealing, killing, and destroying. John 10.10 10 tells us that the devil, and that's the only reason, that's all, that's his purpose right now. He has come to steal, to kill, and destroy life. That includes the unbeliever as well as the believer. He does not care. He knows his time is short, but we are not ignorant of his strategy or his devices. Therefore, we will wage war with spiritual, supernatural, and mighty weapons. Prayer, confessing the word, love, and contending for the faith are our weapons. Spiritual, supernatural, and mighty weapons. Prayer, confessing the word, love, and and contending for the faith are our weapons. Jesus did not allow what was going on around him or what was playing out in society to deter him from his mission. His greatest priority was to complete his mission. That was his focus. Nothing could break his focus. What are you focusing on today? Would be my question to you. Do you have the news on? hour after hour in your home? Are you on Facebook following what's going on hour after hour? What are you focusing on? Have you been in the Word of God today? Have you spent time in prayer with the Lord? Maybe praying with someone else or even telling them about Jesus. What are you focused on today? What is your number one priority in life? To serve the Lord? To serve yourself, to please other people, to get that big promotion in your job? What is your priority in life? Nothing could break his focus. Jesus said, I'm going to loot that scripture. Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? I pray is that your heart desire today? When we seek the Lord first, he said, and his righteousness, now don't leave that out, and his righteousness, all those things will be added to you. He helps us come through and have victory. Focus on Jesus today. Amen.